all those Christmas decorations wear them out. I didn't want to do this at your place. But, um, so you've decided? I want to keep my son. <sighs> There's no roof, no stars, but I still manage to forget about everything and everyone but us. <laughs> I think I saw stars. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, God, I wonder what time it is. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I was supposed to be at Liza's so long ago. I'm sorry. Mm, it's okay. Go, mm. go, 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 go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you. We need to get started on your treatment as soon as possible. I understand. I'll have to call you back. Yeah, the hematologist confirmed the contents of the medication. It's exactly what David said. An experimental drug used to treat erythritosis. So, uh, he's, he's terminal. Looks that way. I mean, they don't just give this drug out to just anyone. All right. Thank you. I don't know, Angela. I don't see it. I mean, think about it. You know, all the lab work, blood tests, mystery drugs. It's way too familiar. It's way too Hayward. You think he's faking it? Well, I'll tell you, I, I smell a copycat. Remember when JR went to his cancer? He kept it a secret from everybody except Marissa. Now, what happened? She never left his side. She was with him 24-7. They ended up getting married. Now, what happens if Hayward found out about it and thought he'd use the same terminal disease at mobile with Amanda, see if he could manipulate her? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Problem is, I can't float the idea with Jake because JR swore me to secrecy. Yeah, and of course, I'm bound by patient-doctor confidentiality. Uh -huh. It's possible David is terminal. Nah, he's too much of a son of a bitch to die that easily. Hey, um, it's me. I was just thinking about everything. Um, look, whatever happens with David, we'll all just deal with it, you know? I just want to say that I, I love you. I can't help it. And I just want our life that we dreamt about. You know, the three of us, you, me, and Trevor. So um, I'll be at the stables if you get this. You can come down there and meet me if you want. Okay? Stop now, you're doing great. I don't want Trevor to see me upset. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion in front of your son. What you said is beautiful. It'll mean a lot to him. No, no more. Uh, not now. Okay, well, maybe later. You can add things over time. Knowing how much his dad loved him will be a wonderful gift. Hey. David, David, you are burning up. What, what can I do? It's all right. We can handle it. Whatever this drug, this disease throws at me. What I can't handle is knowing how hard I fight. I'm still going to be leaving Trevor behind. <laughs> 